Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana for you guys who are new here. I run a candle business by the name of So Yaya. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up your shipping on your Shopify store. Now, this has been one of my most asked questions, but I don't usually like to talk about things until I get a little bit more experience with them so that I can really kind of break it down for you guys and it like actually makes sense. So I decided, okay, let me just get a little bit more experience and then I'm definitely gonna come back and give you guys a video on this. So when it comes to shipping, I definitely believe that you have to understand exactly what the terms mean. So that is what we're gonna go through today. And then I'm also gonna demonstrate with you guys how to set this up using your Shopify store. So first things first is to understand that there is different types of shipping there is no wrong way to do shipping but there's definitely ways that you can do this that it will definitely be a costly price to you in the end I think when it comes to shipping you just need to understand exactly what you're doing because there are so many variables and there's so many ways that you can make mistakes but granted there's always a way to fix it so I kind of want to share those tips so you can maybe skip some of the mistakes that I made in the very beginning so the first thing first is to understand is there's two different types of shipping. There is auto calculated shipping and there is manually calculated shipping. So auto calculated shipping just means this helps you charge your customer the exact amount of what the carrier is gonna be charging you once you purchase that shipping label through your website. Manually calculated means that you probably already have a clear understanding of what your products is going to be. So you just go ahead and manually calculate what your customers will be charging charge at checkout point. We're going to be going through some of the most popular ones. Again, we're not going to go through all of them, but we're going to go through the ones that I have used in the past and kind of what they mean. So first being up on the list, which obviously is the most popular, is just free shipping. So free shipping does not necessarily mean that it's going to be free. In reality, someone has to pay for that, whether it is you or your customer. So the different ways that you can offer free shipping is going to be to increase your product price. And what this means is your customer will be paying. Or you can pay the full price of shipping, which means you pay for the shipping. You'll be paying your own shipping out of your own margin. Or you can do what a lot of people like to do is where they price their products to where the customer is paying half and then you're paying half. That's really one of the most popular ones. When it comes to your business, only you will know what will work best for you. For me, I like to go ahead and integrate the shipping into my product price so that when the customer goes and check out, they don't see all these crazy fees at the end that they had not planned on purchasing. You have to understand that when someone comes to the website, a lot of times, yes, people shop all over, but they nine times out of 10 have only planned out in their mind that they're just gonna pay for this product. So if I plan for something and then I get a surprise at the end, I'm more likely to abandon my car. So to go ahead and alleviate that and so that your customers are following all the way through the checkout point. Now that doesn't mean that if you have any other shipping methods set up that your customer is gonna all abandon their cart. That is not what that means. What it means is that it's just the most popular one because when people see free, they love it. Okay, and so next up you have tiered shipping. And what tiered shipping means is you are offering free shipping after the customer um, reaches a certain threshold amount. And what that means is you'll see it a lot of times someone's promoting all the time okay if you spend a certain dollar amount with me you're gonna get free shipping so an example of that would be spend fifty dollars you get free shipping or if you buy this many products from my site you get buy one get one free or just some sort of way that you are tiering it so that your customer feel like they are getting something extra out of the deal notice a lot of times when I am charging the real-time rates because you all understand that today's price is not yesterday's price so when a customer comes to shop with me every single time they shop with me their shipping is different it kind of deters them from wanting to shop with me anymore because it's not a set price what you want to do is you want to kind of integrate those things to where your customer isn't seeing it so go ahead and do it on the back end that's just my opinion again you can set it up however you want you can have the shipping and handling on um, there you can have your service fee you can have your sales tax like you can do it however you please but I just even even for me, when I go to shop on a website, here's an example. Um, I knew that the product that I was wanting to get was around $200. I had planned for it in my head. When I got to the end checkout point, I saw the service fee, I saw the shipping handling, I saw the sales tax, and then I also saw like another fee on there. And I was just like, whoa, 
wait a freaking minute like no so i'm gonna go ahead and try to find that in the store so i don't have to pay all those different fees now had they may integrated that into the product price and where i'm thinking the product is just that much i'm getting free shipping and i don't see anything else or i am just paying for shipping you have to think in the mind of your consumer because in some form or fashion you are a consumer somewhere else and so you have to understand what 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 makes the most sense obviously you want to do what makes the most financial sense for your business so you don't want to be undercharging yourself but then you also don't want to be overcharging so next up is you can just charge real-time rates and what that means is many different carriers like ups DHL, USPS um, have their real-time rates. And so what that means is when your customer checks out, it's gonna calculate your distance, it's gonna calculate the weight, and it's gonna charge them exactly what that price is right at that moment in the day. Now, if they come back later on, it could be a different price. If they come back um, the next day, it could increase or it could decrease. It just, you just don't know because those are the real-time prices within the carrier. I personally don't really like to use that one, but again, it works for some people and you just have to do what works for you. I think one of the most, <laughs> the, I think one of the best advice that I like to give people is even though you can watch millions of videos on something, you really just need to go ahead and do it um, and try it out and see what works for your business because you really just don't know until you try it out. So next up, we have flat rate shipping. And flat rate shipping means that you're just gonna charge this one price across the board. It's not gonna be any more, any less. Every time I shop with you, it's gonna be that one price. So a lot of times people will charge flat rate pricing when they have already put in the shipping cost into their product price. So they know they're just gonna ch charge one fee across the board. Again, with flat rate shipping, this usually works when we have a fairly standard product in sizing and weight. That is usually when people like to use flat rate shipping. Um, also too, flat rate shipping, you have to be very careful because you don't want to, again, overcharge your customers but then you also don't want to be responsible if you were to undercharge them because that you only charge them ten dollars for all these different sizing candles and it's going to be going to a further location than it normally does and that can really affect that flat rate shipping especially if you haven't um broke all of those costs down into your product already there's another form of shipping that you can use is local pickup and local delivery. That just means that you're setting up the delivery or pickup within a zip code radius. And I like this one, especially when it's my friends or my family or whatever are going to be shopping with me and I still want them to go through my website to purchase whatever. They're not going to be charging anything for the fee because you're going to be meeting up with the customer or they're going to be meeting you. So I feel like that's a very good one. Like maybe if you ship out of a warehouse, that is a good one to use i personally wouldn't use that one if we if you are still um if your business is still running out of your household i don't see how that can be safe but again do whatever works for you but that is an option that you can use and another question that i get a lot is um how do i know which carrier to choose the best way I can say this is you have to test it. I know I say that so much, but it's just so true. You have to test the different carriers because an example for me is I was always using USPS. And for that reason is because they offered the shipping boxes. And I think someone asked me about the free shipping boxes. All you have to do is just go to your local USPS and then you will just pick up those boxes. I really like my little small town. I call it a small town. It's not that small, but like in my area, um, it's more of like a little small town and they had already pre had the boxes prepared for you. So you would just go grab them. They already were taped. They were just still open on the top and all I was using was tape to seal down the top once I put my product in. And I really enjoyed that because I felt like that was just such a nice thing that they were doing. A lot of us use um, a lot Lot of small businesses you use usps and so i felt like that was something really nice that they did for us i decided to go and use ups and that's because they ended up losing a package with usps like okay this is my chance to go ahead and um test out the other carriers and so i tried ups and then they ended up damaging three of my packages
purchase. Granted, they offer a complimentary insurance up to $100. That would be another way that you can decide which carrier you want to decide to use. But um, yeah, so there, as you can see, there is pros and cons with using each of them, but you have to just do what works best for you. Again, um, make sure when you are choosing the carrier, make sure that you're comparing those prices um, location, be comparing their tracking system, be comparing their complimentary insurance, be comparing how fast do they process in your claims when they do make a mistake, how fast are your customers getting your products once you deliver the products to them in hand. So there's just so many different variations when it comes to choosing which company you want to go with when you are deciding how to set up your shipping. I hope walking you guys through that kind of gives you a little bit better insight of how you can set up shipping in your Shopify store, but we're not going to stop there, you guys. I definitely want to go ahead and walk you through some of the steps of how you can set this up on your website, and without further ado, we're just going to get right into it, so let's go. You log into your Shopify account. This is what your homepage should look like. You're just going to go down here in the left-hand corner, and you're going to click on your settings, and then you're going to scroll down on the left-hand side as well into you see shipping and delivery as you can see customers won't be able to check out because we have not set up any of our shipping rates of course I went ahead and deactivated everything that I have set up and put in just some generic information although we're not going to be working with any of these sections besides our general shipping section I did want to go ahead and walk you guys through um, what these different section means just because we are already here so down here you have your customer order fulfillment area and this just means that you have maybe a fulfillment center or a fulfillment team that is putting together your orders for you and maybe they work out of a warehouse and so you would add that service in here this is the carrier account section and this just means that maybe you have a discounted um, account set up with one of the three carriers that they offer and so you will want to go ahead and plug in your information here so that you're getting all of your discounts and everything when it comes to shipping here you can just edit your packing slip template and this is just what you would give to your customer in their order and um, and that lets you know once you're doing their inventory it's like a checklist for you to make sure that you are putting all the correct items and you're not missing any items out of your customers orders also too when you are getting an influx of orders that is going to come in handy and I like it too just because um, you can edit and put your logo on it you can also have the picture of the item and then also what the exact item um, name is on there and it's just a good little extra tool for you and for your customer here you'll have your label formats and then you'll go ahead and test it here if you're still using your desktop printer you would use this one but if you have a thermal that comes with the sticker labels, then you would go ahead and check here. Right here is our Shopify shipping rates, and this is through the carriers, but we will work with this section a little bit later. Right here you have your packaging where you can go ahead and customize your different size boxes that you use. I went ahead and took out all of the ones that I use because I definitely use about seven now. And for that reason is because I have so many different sizing vessels. So I have to have different boxes to um, be able to construct different orders depending on what the customer is purchasing. Um, so I did leave these two in just so you can get like a little example of how that would look when you're adding in your custom packaging so here is the section that we talked about a little bit earlier that if you wanted to go ahead and waive that fee of shipping for your customers that are within the zip code radius that you set up you would go ahead and set up your local delivery and your local pickup here all right so to the fun stuff just our general shipping rates and we have to go in and set up those different rates that we talked about in order for our customers to, um, to be able to check out in our store right here I definitely didn't really touch on this um, but briefly when I told you guys about the different shipping profiles that you can have set up I have it set up to where my light products are separated from my heavy products and that just helps me out when it comes to shipping because at one point I was doing flat rate shipping and I didn't want to charge my customers a flat rate fee that was the same for my heavy items and also for my light items that's just not fair so I definitely have it separated here and I still have it in there I don't have the rates in for it because I didn't want to go ahead and delete all my products that would have took um, 
up sometimes so I didn't want to do that all right so to the good stuff so right here we're just going to go into manage under general and as you can see we have no shipping rates set up right now roll down to the location that we have in there of where we will be shipping our products from and we're going to go ahead and add in the new rate this will allow us and as you can see it changed it said not shipping from because we didn't have any zones set up so you have to go into manage and then you have to click done and then now it's allowing us to set up our um, shipping zone so we're just going to go in here and click create you wanna go ahead and name your zone, that way when you're doing the different shipping, and your customers do not see it on this end, so you can definitely name it whatever you would like. So we're gonna start off with the very first one that we were talking about, and it's gonna be free shipping. We're only gonna be offering domestic shipping. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be choosing the United States because we're only doing domestic shipping, and then you're gonna go ahead and click done. So now you have your shipping zone set up, but you don't have any rates in here. So your customers still will not be able to complete that checkout. So you'll just go in here and you would decide on your rate. Because we're offering our customers free shipping, you set our own rates, and then you can go ahead and choose whatever shipping time that you would like. We're gonna go ahead and just choose the standard, and we won't go in here and add any conditions. We won't add a price because again, we're offering free shipping no matter your location, no matter matter what you're purchasing from our store it's going to be free so we're just going to leave that blank and then we're just going to click done and this is set up to where it says that my customer will get their items within three to four business days which is um, separate from your processing time and it's going to be free so we're going to go ahead and delete that one out so let's just say that now we wanted to do our domestic tier shipping and let's say that we wanted our customers to get free shipping over a certain amount. So we're just gonna, gonna go ahead and name this shipping zone domestic tiered. And then we're gonna choose our region. All right, so as you can see, customers still won't be able to check out because we don't have any rates in here. So we are still setting up our own rates. So let's go ahead and choose whatever transit time we would like, and then you're gonna add in conditions. And this is gonna be based on price. And we're gonna put in our minimal price, and let's just say that if our customers spend $85 with us, then they would get free shipping. So $85 and up, you would get free shipping and once you guys get in here and you start to really work with it it gets so much easier so let's go in here and let's do a different example so let's go in here and add our rate we're still going to have it set up as as our own rates have standard time and let's go ahead and add in our conditions and this one is going to be based again off of pricing so let's just say if my customers send anywhere from one to fifty dollars that I'm going to charge them just a flat rate fee of ten dollars for shipping so that says one to fifty dollars I'm going to be charging my customers ten ten dollars for their shipping or you can set it up to where you can say so anywhere from 51 to i don't know a hundred dollars you're going to be charging your customers twenty dollars for shipping and so that just says anywhere from 51 to a hundred dollars i'm going to be charging you twenty dollars for shipping or one to fifty dollars you're going to be charged ten in hindsight those two would be switched because if you spend less money shipping is going to be more but if you spend more money shipping is going to be less but that's just for the um purposes of this video so we can go ahead and delete that out of there so let's say that we were going to be chef setting up our shipping um in regards to weight so you would just go in here as you did before and we're going to go ahead and still name it it's still going to be so yaya domestic and it's still going to be tiered because it's still under our tiered shipping we're just setting our own rates All right, so you will go in here and you would add in your rates. And so our conditions is gonna be based off weight this time. So let's just say that my customers, um, anything between one and 10 pounds is going to be $10. 
and you can choose whatever uh, transit time that you would like and this says one to ten dollars i'm going to be charging you ten dollars for shipping but anything from 11 let's say anything from 11 to 20 pounds is going to charge you 15 dollars for shipping and so that is another way that you can set up your tiered shipping and then also i wanted to show you guys the very last one and that is going to be flat rate shipping so you will go in and delete that out and you would create your shipping zone as you did before and i'm going to go ahead and name it flat rate choose my region again All right, and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add that rate in. So it's still gonna be set your own rates. You're gonna choose your shipping speed. You can choose whatever you would like for this one. You can choose standard, you can choose express because if you know that your flat rate covers the cost of that, then you can go ahead and say, yeah, express shipping is okay. You're just gonna choose a price. Let's just say I'm just gonna be charging a flat rate of $20 and then you would just click done. And this just says express shipping, one or two business days, and it's gonna charge them just a flat fee of $20. I hope that this is making a lot of sense for you guys to be able to see it but if not you guys always know you can ask me any questions down in the comment section below and then we're just going to go through our very last one and this is going to be you're letting the system calculate the rates for you so this is still going to be so yaya domestic shipping All right, so this time when you go in to add your rates, you're gonna click on use the carrier or an app to calculate the rates for me. It's giving you an option to choose between the three or if not all of them, different carrier options that they provide. So all you're gonna do is we're gonna use UPS as an example, and then you can go through here and choose the services that you would like to offer your customers. It doesn't matter which ones you use, but you would definitely choose these based off location. So you would just scroll down here. If you have a fulfillment center who is handling things for you, your shipping and handling, you can go ahead and add in your percentage for that shipping and handling to be added on as well at the end of the checkout price for your customers. Or you can just go ahead and charge a flat amount fee. So what this means is you will only pay a certain amount. So let's say that the shipping was more than what your customer, what the flat amount rate charged you, then you would be charged on the back end at the end of the month on your shipping, um, on your account with Shopify. So let's go ahead and put in the flat amount and then we're just gonna click done and see, you will see here, now you have those two services available to your customers, US, UPS ground, or they can choose between UPS standard, just charge them a handling fee of $20. If you wanted to do percentage, that way we can see how they're both set up. We're gonna choose USPS this time. Then you would just do the same thing as you did before and just choose the different um, services that you would like to offer to your customers and then you can put in a percentage and you would click done. So this just means that when my customers check out, they'll have the option between these two carrier services between the different services that they offer and this is what they'll be charged on top of whatever fees that you are charging your customers and really you guys that is pretty much all to it hope that i didn't make that more confusing for you guys and i hope just being able to see it gave you a little bit better insight you guys always know that you can ask me any questions down in the comment section all right, you guys, so that concludes our video for today. If you have a better understanding of what it's like to set up your shipping on your Shopify store, definitely do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Always, you guys, I appreciate all of you so very much, and I will see you guys in the next video.